Hi friends and welcome to Crumbs from Charad. Today's reading reminds us of the three great themes of the Synod that we inaugurated just yesterday in the diocese. The Lord appointed 70 others and sent them on ahead of him, two by two, into every town and place where he himself was about to come. Whatever house you enter, first say, Peace be to this house. Whenever you enter, heal the sick in it and say to them, The kingdom of God has come near to you. Earlier we know Jesus had chosen 12 apostles to be with him and to be sent out. And that was a symbolic number representing the 12 tribes. Here Jesus now chooses 70. Why does he choose 70? Once again, it's symbolic. If you look into Genesis chapter 10, you have a list of the nations of the whole world. And what do you have? 70 nations. So what is Jesus saying? Jesus is saying, I want you to include the whole world into the kingdom of God. And that's the very first theme of the Synod, communion. The whole world, everybody is included. And remember, Luke's gospel also is to the Gentiles. So whether you're Christian or no matter what you believe in, you are included. Second, he has chosen 70. Again, 70 nations. So everybody is called to participate. No matter what your belief is, no matter whether you belong to the church, no matter if you have left the church, no matter if you belong to another tradition, all are called to participate. And the third theme of the Synod is mission. Jesus sends the 70 on a mission. And what is that mission? To go ahead of him. And they go around saying, peace be with you. Because when you have Jesus, you have peace. And the second is, he says, the kingdom of God, freedom, fellowship, and justice. So three themes brought out through the reading today, the three themes of the Synod, communion, participation, and mission. And may Almighty God bless you and your effort to build up God's kingdom on earth. The Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit have a wonderful day with Jesus.